Yeah, I'm kind of hoping these things are going to be, I think they will be, but I'm not, I'm not sure how uh, ultra useful they're going to be. But I decided to make some index cards for each army to show, and also these little hexes that I picked up at the dollar store. Um, but I'll be honest with you, the index cards, uh, well, at least the way the style is, is just, it was a bloody excuse to use these stencils that I picked up at the the art uh, art store um, a few days ago. They're they're lovely, but I mean, you know, I could have done this in probably one one hundredth of the amount of time rather than using a stencil, but I was like, you know, that's going to kill the fun, so there's no point in that. And those, like I said, those hexes I uh, got at the dollar store, they represent um, where supply points are. Um, the only one that, ha the only army that actually has supply points with them is uh, the fourth army. Um, yeah, and then the other things here so like, are just uh, how many supply points they have, how many available strength points they have in their army, and how many supply points it would take to mount one fully supplied attack. And so that way I can maybe start figuring out because I've, uh, so this is it for the month. And I know that I'm not going to be doing, uh, I have to make sure that I don't slip into this. Oh, it's, uh, we're getting only in like the seven turns and, um, you know, do it accordingly. I'm, I'm going to try to do it from the Russians point of view of like, okay, how can we set ourselves up uh, long term because I think they're starting to clue in that uh, things are not um, are, are going to go as quickly as possible you know as quickly as they originally uh, planned so that's the way I'm going to do it um, so yeah let's just grab one and uh, take a look uh, you know, yeah you can see here for example and I tried to put the index cards obviously as close as possible um, uh, to where the bloody you know the army HQs are so like, for example like Le Ninth Army with Lichitsky and um, the 5th Army with Plev, I guess. I'm not sure if that's how you uh, pronounce his name, Pleve or Plev. Um, you can see they both have no supply points, a fair amount of strength points sitting there, and then uh, that would have that tell shows you how many um, supply points it would cost. So six for the fifth army, and the, the R two is just uh, those are two strength points left over that would not be unsupplied, and so on and so forth. Um, so I'm trying to figure out, okay, how am I going to you know, I've got way more strength points than I have supply points, and this is it for the month. I've got, you know, essentially 24 uh, supply points to divvy up. I know that these guys are primarily defensive-minded. That's the way I'm looking at it. They're not going on an offensive. Uh, the second army, Warsaw Front, same thing. And that's an awful lot of strength points sitting there, I personally think, for... Um, you know, for a defensive whatever. So I'm going to try to start moving them around. I'm starting to think maybe I'm going to coordinate Salsa's fourth army with the second army and try to figure out a way of um, setting. Okay, you can. I'll just move them aside as I go along. Maybe that's the best way to do it. So I'm thinking of maybe using these guys to link up their strength points. That's the point. Uh, the horrible thing too. I'm getting uh, getting to. I was talking to a couple of days ago with Zoe. Um, this is that point I'm, I don't enjoy much, which is the calculations of sending troops unsupplied to compensate. And, uh, you know, that's the grim reality. And it's uh, I'm doing it again. And I don't want to get to the point where it starts feeling easier to do this, but I can already feel it. I was even mentioning, uh, I was mentioning to Zoe that, uh, you know, I've been reading about things where, you know, some commanders... Yeah, you know, just how different it is for you know, some commanders would end up, you know, having nervous breakdowns or, um, you know, screwed up for life, uh, you know, years, you know, that type of stuff. And uh, and other ones, you know, they could, could send tens of thousands of people to their deaths in an afternoon and enjoy their meal afterwards, let it digest well, have a nice sleep. So it's just amazing how, you know, different people are. But uh, that's where I'm getting down to. I have to start figuring out. It's like, okay, if I want to do an offensive here... I may not have enough strength point uh, supply points to mount, and that's the thing. Okay, it's you got to keep hammering away. Um, but I'm also thinking that maybe I can start looking for these little micro breakthroughs because both sides are paper thin. Uh, you know, there's a ton of one strength point uh, um, hex hexes basically sitting around there. So maybe I can do some kind of weird um, breakthrough in some spot and cause some issues. 
uh, line of communications wise and line of supply wise for the Austrians and the Germans. Maybe that's the way to look at it. Um, yeah, you know, I've got to be very, very uh, wise with my uh, supply points. But yet again, so this is going to be the major offensive, I think, here. And then I have to figure out some kind of way to link up the ninth and the, uh, sorry, the fourth and the second armies over here. So uh, we'll see what happens. All right. Hope you're having a great Thursday.